Hi, welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. I just shot my Siberian hitch video and right now my ridge line's in a mess. So I thought I would show you my current system, why I am no longer using the Siberian hitch, and how I manage my paracord ridge line in the field. So first off, I shot the Siberian hitch video with my choppers on, with my heavy mitts. Uh, I did that just to prove that the Siberian hitch works with the heavy mitts on. Uh, the cord management, you need to have your gloves off. So what I use for ridge line is seven arm pulls of paracord. So seven of these. It ends up being about 35 feet. Uh, that's plenty for me, plenty for my area, but it's not too much cord to manage. I have been going to a high-vis cord lately. Uh, some of my older ridge lines uh, are darker colors, but when I build a new one, uh, usually I use a bright colored cord. Now, I said in my Siberian hitch video, I used to use a Siberian hitch. I no longer do that. I found a system that works better for me, and today I'm going to show you what that is. So what I use in place of the Siberian hitch is a bowline. Now, that's nothing earth shattering. That's what most people use, but I'll show you how I tie it. So this is my tag end. I'm going to roll the line and create a loop. My tag end is going to go through the loop, around my main line, and back through the loop. Now again, nothing earth shattering, but what's important to me is the size of my bowline. I want to be able to at least get my fist through here, and I'll show you why in a minute. All right, that's about right for me. Now, when I store my line, I store it by twisting my hand. So this is one hand of line. That's one hand. So I capture my bowline loop, but it's not going to be in the hand itself. It's just below. So I'm over the thumb, under the pinky, and I'm just going to roll my hand. Now this is a piece of bank line that I use for a pressic loop. I leave that on. That doesn't affect things. That's irrelevant to what we're doing today. So each one of these around my thumb to my pinky is a hand. So this is an old time measurement, a line. Now, you know, this is maybe four or five feet of line. I leave myself plenty. And when I pull my hand out, you know, my cord is going to hold that uh, shape. Now, again, this is my bowline. It is not in the center. It's kind of hanging out a little bit. Now I'm going to twist. I'm going to start on the outside edge, away from the bowline. And I'm going to capture it and just wrap it down. Now I've got uh, maybe 10 inches here, so I'm going to tie a clove hitch, which is basically an X pattern with the line. So I go I make an X across my thumb, put the tag in through, and pull it. Okay, so this is how my cord sits. This is how it always sits. This is how it is in the winter. This is how it is in the summer. Uh, sun, rain, doesn't matter. This is how I put my ridge line away each time. So I'm going to go back to the big mitts here just to show you how this works for me. And with this clove hitch tied on the body of the line with the bowline knot on the outside, I can just pull my line right off the spool. So 
so what I don't need you know stays relatively coiled up out of my way and it's tangle free all the way through So I'll show you that again real quick. So my bowline's kind of in my palm. It is not. It is not tucked in like this. When I do this, I'm not able to locate my bowline and pull it all through. So I leave it hang out a little bit. And then pinky to thumb. Okay, got about five feet left. I'm gonna start my wraps. I get about uh, you know 10, 12 inches. I'm gonna go with my clove hitch. Okay, now with my mitts on, you know, this would be in my haversack, all balled up, ready to go. Uh, weather breaks, I need to set up my shelter. I can pull off what I need, go around the tree, and then the whole bundle passes through my bowling. Clear shot. So the main difference that I do different is make a big enough bowline where I can pass my whole bundle of cordage through the loop and then walk with it. Uh, if that tree was halfway away, I would stop right there. Uh, the bundle could stay where it is. Now the disadvantage to this is I've got a bowline in my line all the time. That has never affected me. If there's some kind of knot I'm trying to do, I'll use the other end of the ridge line. The other disadvantage is this is not quick release. Now if I grabbed the loop and started walking with it, it would come off the tree and I could manage my cordage later if it was a life or death emergency, a flood was coming, thunder, something like that where I had to leave instantly. But chances are I'd just leave my ridge line if that was the case. But cord management is the key. You know, life's too short to have tangles. So give this a try. Uh, you know, being able to access your ridge line quickly under stress uh, may save your life one day. This has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you next time.